Xiaomi has just announced the Redmi Note 2, and this phone right here could redefine the smartphone market. So I very rarely make announcement videos like these, but this is extremely exciting. I was watching the Xiaomi press release and literally salivating. So this is a budget phone starting at just $125. To begin with, it packs a Helio X10 processor. Now this is the same chip seen in high-end flagship phones costing literally $600. It's a true octa-core CPU running at 2GHz or 2.2GHz if you get the prime version. The CPU is also backed by 2GB of RAM, and the Redmi Note 2 scores just under 55,000 points on Antutu, destroying every benchmark set by every current budget smartphone. And what makes me even more excited for this phone is that I originally, in 2014, reviewed the Xiaomi Redmi Note, and I voted that the best budget smartphone of the year. Now this one is better in every single way, so you can imagine I'm practically jumping up and down right now. The Redmi Note 2 comes with MIUI 7 slapped on top of Android 5.0, with an incoming update to 5.1 soon after its release. Now, MIUI is a pretty decent operating system, it's not my favourite, I do prefer stock Android, but nonetheless it's functional, very, very slick, and quite customisable. The original Redmi Note had a fantastic camera for the money, and now Xiaomi have really stepped up their game. Their new camera has a 0.1 second shutter speed, which is extremely fast, and this is thanks mostly to the improved processor on offer. It also has an improved sensor and phase detection autofocus. So the phone is actually coming in two models. At $125, you get the basic Redmi Note 2, which is fantastic value. You pay another $35, and at $160, you get the Redmi Note 2 Prime, which has a slightly overclocked processor, 4G LTE connectivity, and double the inbuilt storage. We're also going to have a gorgeous display on our hands. 5.5 inches and 1080p is perfect for an entry-level phablet. Last time, Xiaomi absolutely nailed the colours and the contrast, so I've no doubt they'll do it again. An interesting and very useful feature that they've also added is the ability for the display to go much, much dimmer, up to 10 times dimmer apparently according to their website, which will basically mean it's much more readable in dimly lit environments where most phone displays are just too bright. It'll also help to save on battery, and with the phone already having over 3000 mAh of it, this thing is just gonna blow your socks off. Thanks for watching guys.